while they were hanging posters on my bedroom walls to battle rapping for status up in the schoolhouse. Just call me double sushi. Hey, I'm Maggie Hull. I'm the writer behind this blog. I'll stop by telling you a little bit about myself. I've played sports my entire life, in fact, there have been times in my, when my life revolved around it. I tore my ACL my junior year of high school in the middle of a basketball game. And when somebody tells you that you can't compete in sports for the next seven months, it seemed as though my life as I knew it had come to an end. It was during that time when I realized that putting my identity into being an athlete would always let me down. I wouldn't always have sports in my life. I needed to put my identity, my heart, body, soul, and all that I am into something eternal. That something that was perfect and never ending. I needed to put my identity into Jesus Christ. I remember chasing the green, feeling blue. Only check I'm counting is the mic check. One, two. All I wanted was the Colossians 3.23. This is a verse that I have held on to and applied directly to my athletic competition. I'll talk more about it in my first entry. But first, I just want to share with you a little bit more about myself. I proudly play softball for the University of Kansas. Last year, my team went 26-3 and to start the season and just missed a regional bid. This season, as a junior, it's going to be different. I am very passionate about my sport and my team. Every time I head to practice or to a workout, my goal is to compete for God's glory. My dream is to be a sports writer, or maybe a broadcaster on ESPN someday, who knows. But I study journalism and Spanish here at KU, and I love to write, hence the whole blog thing. Here at KU, I'm involved in Vintage Community Church and KU Young Life College Ministry, both which I love. And one more thing, I'm engaged to Kevin. Here's a clip from the video. But history repeats itself, evil's what it is. Cause Lucifer was cast away for doing what I did. Created by the God who spoke the earth into existence. Instead of chasing the Father's glory, he was chasing his. He lies to us all, so Adam he could fall. Why you follow with God when you can go get it all? I tell you what's better, or better yet worse. Chasing your own glory by doing the Lord's work. So holler if it hurts, but we will make for greater. Our greatest satisfaction is making his name famous. So if we're never named among the greatest, they don't critically acclaim us. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. We gave it up for the Savior. I'ma chase that. I'ma, I'ma chase that. And the Lord's goodness, you should, you should taste that. And you ain't living till you're living for his name. Yeah. Glory, I'ma chase that. I'ma, I'ma chase that. So really, why am I writing this blog? And why is it called Competing for His Glory? It's back to Colossians 3.23. Playing our sport, our training for whatever it is, if we do it with all our heart, it is glorifying to God. We need to chase His glory.